Carrie Katona has lifted the lid on her abusive marriage to her late husband George K in her book, Whole Again, claiming he was scarier when he wasn't taking drugs. The 42-year-old told Mail Online exclusively how George also started practicing black magic in the bathroom of their home in his final years and became quite obsessed with it, even predicting his own death. She said he would put spells on her, called her his dark angel and believed he was the Archangel Gabriel due to cocaine-induced psychosis. The TV star married third husband George in September 2014 and they welcomed a daughter DJ, who is now 8 years old. But George's mental health unraveled in the years leading up to his death, with Carrie calling him a very very poorly man. George died aged 39, after eating a quantity of cocaine at a Holiday Inn Hotel in Runcorn, Cheshire on July 6, 2019. They were estranged at the time. Carrie said, George had been playing with black magic and going into the bathroom and offering the spirit's wine. I believe this spirit gave George his Bell's palsy, in 2015. The NHS describes as a condition that causes temporary weakness or paralysis of the muscles in one side of the face. She said, after George became obsessed with the occult, all these flies started appearing in the bathroom. I had to hoover them all up, but I would go back and they were all there again. It was weird. We had a paranormal investigation team come in because this ST kept happening. It was crazy and they had a spirit box which meant the spirit can talk to you. It said it did that to George's face, gave him Bell's palsy, and he said he wanted us out of his house. It was effing crazy. Carrie said she's a big believer in the paranormal. I do believe in all that stuff. Hugely. Massively. I believe in UFOs. I don't understand how no one else does. How can you not believe in that ST? In being into all that? I would never do a Ouija board I would never touch that but I am a massive believer 100%. I've seen lots of psychics, lots of mediums over the years. Carrie first met George when she was a teenager but they lost contact when she became famous. They reconnected years later on a night out and she learned that he had been in prison for six years for chopping someone's toes off. Unsurprisingly, Carrie's marriage to George was marred in violence and she was forced to take out a restraining order against him. Carrie was terrified of what he could do to her and her family, he even threatened to inject their daughter with heroin and rape her mum. She said, he was a very very poorly man. Drugs or no drugs, George wasn't a well man. George was more scary when he wasn't on anything. When he would do drugs, he was so childlike but when he wasn't, he was a nasty 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 effer. I will never forget the last time I saw George, after we split up. He came to my house that we lived in and I said we need to talk about this divorce now George. He kept telling me he was going to die. I said, George, you are not going to die. He had been going to all these spiritual churches and meetings and stuff. When we split up, he was so fed up from coke that he would talk to himself in the mirror and he would do spells on me saying I was his devil angel. And to the point where he was making people call him Gabriel like the Archangel Gabriel. Carrie, who has said she visits psychics and mediums, broke down in tears when talking about what she would say to George from beyond the grave. She said, I would just tell George, I've got our baby. 
she has got the most amazing life ever. That's all he needs to worry about. During the chat, Carrie also spoke about how both her daughter DJ and George were both born with a total of 12 fingers. Carrie said, George had been in prison and he was a bad boy. I loved all that. I was asking him where all his scars were from. He told me the ones on his hands were because he was born with 12 fingers and had two taken off. He told me it was to do with his tribe in Nigeria which he comes from. George was adopted by a white family. Last year, his biological dad found me. You couldn't make it up I got this DM saying I'm George's biological dad. I've just found out my son is dead and you've got my granddaughter. I would like to see her. DJ was born with the same 12 fingers as George. They came out sideways. She kept hers until she was about 8 months. The doctors just sliced it off so she's got a scar here and here. I always talk to her about it so she feels good about it and knows she's special. As well as DJ, Gary is also mother to Molly, 21, and Lily, 19, from first husband Brian McFadden and Heidi, 15, and 14-year-old Max from her marriage to Mark Croft. She can no doubt empathize with George because she knows only too well what it's like to battle with mental health. She had her own much publicized battle with cocaine and has bipolar disorder, but despite her struggles, she is now in a happier place. Now engaged to be married to Ryan Mahoney, Carrie said it's taken a long time to get to this happy point. She said, I was abused and battered because no one knew I had bipolar until I went on this morning. Carrie's 2008 appearance became notorious when viewers witnessed her slurring her words. She said never once did hosts Philip, Schofield, and Fern, Britain, ask me what's bipolar Carrie? What medication are you taking? It was like are you an alcoholic? I hadn't touched a drop. It was side effects from medication that a doctor had given me. I was crucified. If I was on this morning with a limb missing and third degree burns on my face and I was slurring, without any explanation, people would go oh love, oh bless her. But because I visually look okay. Ignorance is bliss. You can't see what's going on. I think I was a beacon for everyone else to get the all clear, when it comes to mental health. As soon as Prince William and Prince Harry and Lady Gaga spoke about it, it was acceptable which was a f***ing load of shit if you ask me. I had been struggling for years and no one bothered to help me. I am lucky I didn't take my own life, because that's how it made me feel. But I had to go through what I went through to be who I am today. I wouldn't change any of it. I wouldn't change the drugs, the bankruptcy, the men, the marriages, the divorces, the TV appearances. Because I wouldn't be on this path that I am on today. Carrie Katona, Whole Again, published by Mirror Books, is available from high street stores, supermarkets and Amazon now.